and that's a hard one. Uh, we're working on uh, a technique today, five swords, and the variations that can be included in five swords, depending on the situation, your mood, the aggressiveness of the individual, the size, shape, etc., what they can take and what they can't take. In this case, uh, working with Rob here, he's going to throw, and I know five swords starts out with both the left and right, so you have left and right here. I'm just going to go with the right punch just to simplify things a little bit. But instead of just throwing uh, an inner block, I'm going to actually do something different. But first, let's look at the technique slowly as it's taught. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And of course, you can do a lift kick and step out. How can we change this? Let's say, for instance, and again, we're going to assume this person is not throwing a left punch yet, but they can. Uh, it's flexible either way. But if he's just going to throw the right punch, what I would like to do is think about something a little different. Maybe he's not a professional fighter. Maybe he's got his head uncovered or open. If he's going to throw that punch, just sort of a wild punch, what can we do? We can step in, slap the face, and block the arm at the same time. So we can come in here and whack, just slap him hard, and hit the base of the bicep at the same time we're striking the inside of the wrist. And from there, we can go through this whole thing like we did before. Everything's the same. What else did I do differently? I palm healed him to the floating ribs, which is something most people don't even see or consider. Because when you do the initial block, inward outward, what's his hand doing? It's usually just hanging there in guard. I would like to use it for a strike. So when he throws a left and right, okay, I'm going to come in here and here. This is my palm heel to the floating ribs, and I'm just going to jam it boom, straight in here. This will cause him to bend over into the knife strike. Knife hand strike to the side of the neck, dropping his head. As I do this, I pull the head down, popping it back up. Getting this life weight process, I have a side strike here and a pulling down knife hand strike here, lifting the chin and striking. Turn, scoop kick, and leave. That's one way of doing it. How many other variations do we have on this? In this case, I've just shown you two variations, one of which is the slap to the face, strike to the bicep, and strike to the wrist. The second one is Strike to the floating ribs. If this person is throwing just the right punch, what else can we do with this? We can do a whole lot. One, two, three, four. We can come right down here and back up. We can shorten the technique. The point of all this is, it's any technique is very, very flexible in its execution. There's a lot of talk going around about the idea that any technique will not work on a non-compliant individual. Well, what I'd like to say is this. No partner, no opponent you have will ever be compliant. So it's up to you to make him compliant. And if he's throwing a right punch and he's got his guard up, I won't be able to slap the face. Or can I? Can I do that? He's got his hands up. He's going to throw probably just a straight right cross. If he throws that straight right cross and his hand is up, can I block here and hammer his fist into the side of his face? Very easily. That's a piece of cake. Does it change the technique? Not significantly. You can still go through the same thing all over again. So he steps in, I come in, bam, and I hammer that hand right into the side of his head. At the same time, I'm blocking, I can continue this motion down here, bringing him in, and from here, I can make everything finish exactly the way it did before. So any of these variations are possible. They're not only possible, but they're likely. And in transition action, they have to be there. You have to be able to consider these. Learn a technique, memorize it, so that you're at your best with it, so that you're in a position of unconscious competency. You know that technique so well that you don't even have to think about it. When you reach that point, start modifying.